Hey guys, I have an art supply to share with you. This is Walnut Drawing Ink by Tom Norton, and this is their drawing stick. And you guys might be wondering, what is Walnut Drawing Ink? It is a beautiful sepia colored ink. They used to make it out of walnuts. They don't do that anymore because walnuts are highly acidic and over time that will deteriorate your paper. So instead, they make it out of high quality artist gray pigments that are light fast, acid free, and this actually acts more like a watercolor. It does not dry permanently. It always remains water soluble and you can actually lift the color. Okay, so let me show you a little bit about this drawing stick right here. If you like to create loose sketches, just like this little lady right here, you're going to love this. Okay, so you have a bamboo dip pen on one end, and what this will do is create um, very unique, unpredictable marks on your paper. And then you have a felt tip on this end, and this is actually for um, doing color washes. And this is a great example right here. And I'm going to pull it out so you can see exactly what you can do with it. Very beautiful. Love that. Okay, so I have been playing with this, and I'm going to actually swatch on this toned paper. Let me show you what it is. This is by Strathmore. It's toned tan paper. Okay, we're going to look at the color right here. And as you can see, on my little palette, I have a concentration of just... Uh, I'm going to use my little felt tip right here to do the washes. That'll be fun. Okay, so I have the concentration of just walnut oil straight from the jar here. And then I have three drops of the um, ink. Did I call this walnut oil? It's not walnut oil. It's walnut ink. Um, anyway, so I <laughs> used the straight concentration of the ink here, and then I used three drops of the ink, five drops of water, and then here I used three drops of the ink and a whole pipette. I mean, I just put the whole pipette uh, in right here. So we're going to have like a gradation of, uh, of the ink, and I'm going to start with the lightest first. And what this will do, this is a great way to start. Get you a little palette just like this. These are fabulous. Um, prepare your palette with a gradation and then go in and start drawing. Love that. That's, I would recommend that's how you would do it. Okay, so I'm going to start with the lightest color first. Really saturate my little felt pad here. Now you can actually clean this by swishing it around in water just like you would clean your watercolor brush. So, that's pretty cool. Okay, we're just going to do a little wash of color here. I'm going to clean off my little felt. You see, I cleaned it off and it came clean. Okay, this is a little bit higher concentration. I hope you guys are picking this up. It's very subtle. I'm going to do another little wash here. And then clean. And then I'm going to go right in with... Um, and you can actually dip, if you want to guys, you could actually dip straight into the bottle to get a high concentration. And this is a little more concentrated. So this is how beautiful this ink is. It's so gorgeous. And guys, um, artists like Rembrandt, uh, Da Vinci, Van Gogh, they all would do beautiful sketches with walnut, the real walnut drawing ink. But a lot of those, a lot of those really cool sketches over time, it's really sad they deteriorated because they were using such, you know, acidic ink. But let me just go ahead and dip into, now you can use the bamboo part to dip into any of these washes, but I'm going to dip straight into uh, the bottle. And guys, they do make walnut darkening ink, and it's also made by um, Tom Norton. I'll leave a link below to that too if you guys are interested. So this, this is the darkest, um, it, you know, the straight concentration of the ink. But if you want it even darker than this, you buy the Walnut Darkening Ink, and that'll just darken this up to an even more intense uh, brown. So that's available. Okay, I'm just going to dip in and make a mark. Let's see. Let's 
So that's, so you can get really, you're going to have to keep dipping in frequently. Just kind of, just kind of play around and, you know, you can make a, a, a line. That's, a, that's actually, a, for a bamboo stick, that's actually a really nice uh, straight line. But you see how you lose your ink. You have to keep dipping in to get, and you can make a, um, go on the side and make a, a thinner line. The, um, the more, the farther back you hold uh, your paintbrush or your dip pen or whatever, you're going to get a looser, um, a looser sketch. And that's actually how I like to hold my pencils when I sketch. I, and if you go, <laughs> if you go and look at my, I have a sketching video I did not too long ago. I re-released, I guess, a couple sketching videos that I did several years ago. You can see I hold my pencil really far back because you get a looser sketch. Um, that's how I like to do it. But anyway, so I'm going to stop here because I kind of filling up my page with marks and you guys get it. I don't have to sit here and keep going. But I just wanted to show you how absolutely beautiful this ink is and look how gorgeous it is on this toned paper. Now, you know what? I'm going to grab a piece of white paper. Let's compare really quickly uh, and I'm going to dip in I'm going to dip in the lightest ink first and then a little bit darker and then the concentration. Okay, well it wasn't exact because I didn't clean my brush in between but it doesn't matter. I just wanted to show you. Let me dip my, let me go full on strength in here. I'm kind of all over the place today guys. Okay, that's the full concentration on the paper. Okay. So you guys can see, if you want to do sketches on, uh, let me clean my brush real quick. If you guys want to do sketches on white paper, okay, this is what it's going to look like on white paper as opposed to a toned paper. Me, <laughs> personally, I really love the beautiful sepia on this dark paper. But guys, it looks good on white too, if that's what you're interested in. So this is a lot of fun, and I'm sorry I rambled today. I am just in a rambling kind of mood. I don't know, I have those days. Anyway, this is beautiful ink. It's a beautiful sepia color, and I'm gonna put it like this so you guys can get a better, another look at it. But, and you can also pick up this really cool, let me, Put it right here so I don't stick it in that wet ink. Really cool drawing stick. I really like that. That looks like a lot of fun. I can't wait to play around with this more. And I want to show you again this tip right here. This little, it's a bamboo um, dip pen, which I love. I love new tools. It's always fun to get new art supplies and just see what you can do with it. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope this has inspired you to go do something. I know I really don't create art on my channel. I just kind of review uh, art supplies and, and swatch colors. But, you know, every now and again, I will. I, and I've been thinking about that lately. I need to create more art for you guys. I need to, like, turn the camera on when I'm doing stuff in my studio. So I'm going to try to do that more often and bring you guys some different content, too. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, I will leave a link below so you guys can go check everything out for yourself. And I'll see you later. Bye.